Uh, Mandy was an excellent student and a very good athlete. Uh, she was very involved in school life. She was a, uh, as far as a athlete, she played, uh, was a varsity player in the girls basketball team very early on in her basketball career. She played softball, was in track, uh, was in the high school band, and was also a cheerleader. So she really covered a lot of, of different bases in her career in, uh, in Middle End High School. This was a Stavik house, as I'm pointing uh, on this exhibit. And this would be the Clipper Road as it was now. This used to be the Strand, they changed the name. And so Mandy would often go down here, which would add a little distance on her run, and then would come back here and run down the Strand Road. And this would be on the east side of the, or excuse me, the west side of the, or the east side of the Strand Road. The railroad tracks are right here. Uh, there was a good friend of her brother's, and we'll talk about that house, the Andersons. This is Highway 9. And she would cross Highway 9 very often and go right on to the Nooksack River. This was a defendant's house. This was where the defendant, Tim Bass, lived. He had a younger brother, Tom, and we'll be talking about him also. So Mandy would run down here or walk down this far and then go on back. And when she went back to her house, uh, the total would be five, just a, approximately five miles in length. He also found numerous superficial scratches on her lower legs and forearms. And you'll see them, and they're almost an elliptical kind of a scratch, and they're deep. You'll see pictures of that. And it's as though she had been running through the brush and uh, had caused these, and she was naked, and it caused these marks on her legs marks on her arms, and you'll see the pictures of those also. And uh, Detective Bowie told them that they're investigating the murder of Mandy Savage that occurred in 1989. And Mr. Bass, who had lived right down the road, uh, first looked up the ceiling like he couldn't remember and just couldn't remember the name. And uh, he said, oh, he said, that, that was a girl that was found in the room. And so then Detective Bowie asked him a number of other questions. And um, he indicated that he didn't even know where she lived. And of course, you saw that road on Strand Road. And uh, he said that he was older than she and did not even know her. And he was three years ahead of her in school. He then recalled that she did live on the east side of the Strand Road, and he lived on the west side. He indicated he did remember she was a good athlete. In fact, he said that he had watched some of her basketball games. So, and he'd been out of school for three years when she was playing basketball, but he said he remembered that. He called his brother after the second meeting. He said, boy, the sheriff's office has called me. He said, look, I'd like to talk to you. So he, his ex-wife Gina, and his mother all went down to talk to Tom Bass, who was living in concrete. And he pulled Tom Bass aside and went in the living in the bedroom. Tom wanted to talk to him privately. And he said, look, the sheriff's office has been talking to me twice. And he said, uh, I just want to tell you that I had a, uh, uh, sexual relationship with Mandy Stavick, and, uh, uh, and I think they may find my DNA. He asked Tom then, he said, look, could you say that you also had sexual relations with her? An apparent effort to make her look like she uh, was around with a number of different people. And Tom says, no, I won't do that. So the defendant was there. Tom and his mother visited him. And when they were visiting, and in the cell, and you'll hear the way the visiting cell is, there's a glass. and so the inmate is on one side and the visitors are on the other side. And the defendant held up a note, thinking that sheriff's offices, uh, officers could hear what he said. So the note had written on it, and you hear this description from Tom, uh, that everyone is out to get him. He needed a strong alibi or he's going to prison. Uh, Mom, can you say we were Christmas shopping together? Uh, we know that she did not cross Highway 9. Uh, we know that she was on her way home. We know that she had scratches on her legs and arms as though she'd been running through the brush. Uh, she had an injury to her head. Uh, the defendant's DNA was inside her. And uh, we know that she was kidnapped, she was raped, and then she was killed. 